Hey YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at this OSX professional video security system. It is a professional video security system that gives you all the features you would find in something that is professional grade. The biggest difference between this and some of the others that we've reviewed in the past is this one is wired. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's open it up and see what's in the box. Let's get to it. In the box we have the brain and you can tell that uh, this one is wired. There's no antennas and the inputs for up to eight cameras. There's an instruction booklet. And this one actually comes with a little mini CD in it. This one actually has eight cameras. They're these little cameras. Oh, maybe this one only has four cameras. Here's the cables. Cables for the cameras. More cables and last but not least we have Ethernet cable, hard drive cables, mouse, power supply, hard drive mounts and screws, and a little jumper block. about this system is it doesn't come with a hard drive in it you have to trust to buy your own size hard drive it could hold up to a, a six terabyte hard drive so uh, just just be aware if you buy one of these and I'll have the link to it in the description below but if you buy one of these you'd need to go ahead and buy your off hard drive as well I want to go ahead and show you how you would install the hard drive in this if you should buy this unit and you have to get the hard drive okay the four screws, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and remove those. Remove the four screws and then this back piece just slides off. And depending on the hard drive you purchase, you have the appropriate cable that would actually go into the appropriate slot on your on the system motherboard. The hard drive just mounts right to the bottom here using the mounting screws that came with the entire kit. We could use this without the hard drive, so what we're gonna do is just put it back together, plug up the cameras, and let's see what happens. Before we plug this thing up and fire it up, I want to show you a couple things, okay? On the back of this, it has connections for up to 8 cameras, video and audio output. There's also an HDMI output, which is what I'll be using to show you on this TV. There's an Ethernet plug. Since it is not wireless, you must plug it into your wired network. You could use a, a VGA screen with it if you had one. But one thing to note, that's especially uh, interesting. The power supply for it has five power plugs and that's because this kit originally came with four cameras. One of these is for the brain itself and then another one, uh, one each of these for each camera. When I, when I plug it up I'll show you that the cables that connect the camera to the back of this thing here actually has a power plug in it so you must plug it up since it's not wireless it, and it's not power over ethernet. It gets its power right from this power supply here. Just a couple of things to note about these cameras. You could rotate them and face them in any direction. 
they surface mount, so they mount onto a surface like this or a wall. And you can just rotate them. These are infrared lights for night vision. And they turn apart, they unlock here. And this is how you mount it to the wall. And the camera itself could actually just rotate freely once you do it. And you could actually pop it out if you wish. Okay, you see what I was talking about earlier? The connector into the brain plus the power supply. Here's the, the connection cable. You actually see the uh, female connector and the male connector and the female connector for the power supply that you plug this into. And then plug one of these into it. I'm going to hook it up. So it's booting up right now. While it's booting up, I want you to know there's a label here with some QR codes, and that's for the mobile app. You can just scan the mobile app, scan the QR code, and get the mobile app, and we'll, we'll actually do that in just a little bit. Here's the uh, one for iOS and one for Android. Okay, the system booted up. You can actually get a look at the, uh, at the various cameras. You can see now that this thing here could do up to eight cameras and we're just gonna click OK we're just gonna click the next on the setup it also provides the same QR codes that's on the label here you can scan the QR code and download the mobile app and there's a pretty nice clear picture and let's see if we can figure out which one is which is this camera one you can see is you could rotate it any which way you want. If I turn the lights off, it should go into infrared mode. Let's turn this light off and see if it does. No, it's still too bright to go into infrared mode. Uh, you can click through, just like all the other cameras that I've reviewed, or camera systems that I've reviewed, you could click through. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. To get to the settings, you just right click, you have the main menu, which gives you admin, username and password, uh, your recording mode, we don't have a hard drive in this right now so we can't go into that, or playback mode. Uh, you can change the call settings, if the call is no longer good, you can change the call settings. There's actual, an actual user guide on this thing too, and it's the same thing that pops up when you first start it up. You could, you could tell it uh, if you want this thing to be 1080p, 1080n, 960p. You could tell it what the various channels, uh, the resolution of various channels. And you could choose the view that you want. Since we only have four cameras rather than trying to display eight, we could display four right here. You could do eight or you could do nine if you do eight. I'm gonna scan this QR code with, with my iPad and uh, let's see what happens. So let me find my QR code reader. Is, the app is called XVR Pro. We're just going to go ahead and get this thing. We'll, start and we'll let it download and then we'll open up and run. The app is done downloading. Let's open it up and see what we get. So, we can allow it to send us notifications. Let's go ahead and, and uh, register as a new user. And then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so now I'm registered as a new user. I'm going to sign in. And we don't have any devices added. So we're going to add a device. And the GID should pick it up. There we go. 
I need to give the device a name, so I'm just going to call it test. And the admin's blank, all we get is an 8 channel device. And then we're going to save it. So, here we are. To view the device. We could tell it we want to only view channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it should pull the preview. It's the same thing you're seeing on the screen right now. It's the same thing that's on the iPad screen. If you rotate it, you get a better view. And you can scroll through each of the screens that you want to preview. From here, at the bottom of the screen, you could take snapshots of your recordings. If you have a motorized camera, you could do pan, zoom, tilt. And you can see everything that's on your camera system right here on the iPad iPhone or any mobile device really. You could also add multiple devices at this point if you wish. This is a neat little camera. Uh, the wires make it a professional system. There you have it folks. An initial view of this R6 4 camera professional video system. Uh, I'll have a link to where we purchased this down in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe. Remember to come back, check out more videos. And God bless, we'll see you on the next one.